And we're just going to go ahead and start in our chairs. If you're following along with the, the music playlist, number 47 today, uh, feel free to go ahead and start that um, whenever you want. And, um, and we're going to go ahead and get started with our practice. So let's go ahead and find that chair and the nice comfortable spot in that chair and begin to just settle in with our practice this morning. Okay, if it's comfortable for you, go ahead and close your eyes for just a moment as we take this uh, initial moment to allow our bodies to, to just settle, allow our minds to settle, and allow us to find a little bit of a comfortable and relaxing uh, position. So as we uh, begin with our practice, let's begin just observing our inhales and our exhales. Just start to, the breathing pattern, start breathing in and out. And if you want to feel that breath a little bit more, then take your right hand and just place it on your belly and your left hand on your heart. And just allow yourself to feel the physicality of that breath. If it's okay with you, go ahead and close your eyes. And just allow you to start feeling the impact of that breath in and out. And with each subsequent inhale and exhale, trying to lengthen that inhale, trying to deepen that inhale, and then lengthen the exhale, making make sure that exhale is as long as you can. And that deep breath pattern will start to just bring us a little bit more into the moment, allow us to be fully present right here in our practice today. And that kind of aligns with the theme of what we're talking about today. It's hinging still more on our principles, our yamas and niyamas. And the yama for today is a word called astaya, astaya, which means non-stealing, meaning not taking away from the moment not taking away from the moment. So if we approach our mats and approach our practice, but we're not fully right here, that's an example of stealing away from our moment, stealing away from our practice. So what we're trying to do is just create an environment for ourselves where we're right here. But there's many things that can distract or detract, not only from our practice, but from our attention. Um, and that's steals away from the moments that we're in. Of course, in the times we're living in right now, you know, it's oftentimes that our minds get uh, distracted with everything that's going on, whether that be fear, anxiety, stress, uh, or, or the mixture of that of, I've got this, things are good, and we're all, uh, we're all in this together. And uh, all of that's true, and all of those emotions may be hidden all at the same time, and that's quite all right. Um, but what's a, what's a challenge sometimes, and I, I fall into this quite often, and especially more over the last couple of days, I've had to challenge myself to cut myself some slack. Okay, cut myself some slack. To think about being compassionate. Because uh, I found myself in a mode found myself in a mode, and maybe you're finding yourself in a mode where I feel like I should be doing this and I should be doing that, and things aren't as they should be or seem. And what I'm doing for myself is creating perhaps expectations that, uh, that are beyond what they should be, or creating perhaps in a reality um, of something that, that really just creates an environment of disappointments and creates an environment of frustration versus just allowing myself to let go of that, all that stuff, and allowing myself then just to appreciate what's happening right now. What's happening right now. And if we think about that word compassion, if we think about compassion, Compassion is one that doesn't allow us to steal a moment away from someone else, that allows us to think in terms of what someone else might be going through. In other words, putting someone else's shoes on and walking a mile in their shoes. And at the same token, we have to have compassion for ourselves to put our own shoes on, so to speak, and walk a mile in our own shoes, having compassion for what we're each going through together. And just allowing ourselves to find this word grace, allowing ourselves to find this word grace through this time that we're going through. Because we're going to make mistakes, we're going to find frustrations, and just allow ourselves to let go of that stuff. Let go of that stuff and just accept the moment for really what it is. Find the appreciation.
appreciation. Because when we're not finding that state of grace, when we're not accepting our mistakes as something that just really serves a purpose, then what we're doing is we're stealing away from our ability to find the happiness in the moment that's right now, creating those distractions and detractions from our own consciousness and our own living in this present moment. Good. So let's allow ourselves to be fully on our mats, fully on our chairs in our practice today. Let's take a couple more deep breaths, feeling that deep breath. Good. And let's go ahead and begin our practice. We're going to begin our physical practice out of the chairs. We're going to come right out of the chairs and already spin those chairs around, facing the seat bottoms toward us. Go ahead and take that block and just set it on the chair just so you know where that block is at. I'm gonna initially start right here facing you and then I'm gonna to turn to the side. So I'm gonna come behind the chair and you come behind that chair, wide stance and step back just a little bit so we have some clearance from the chair. And we're just gonna inhale up nice and tall and just exhale, let those hands come right past our hips, suck in. Inhale up nice and tall and then maybe start hinging just a little bit more. Good, and then inhale up nice and tall, and then hinge a little bit deeper, keeping a nice wide stance. Maybe a little bend in our knees now as we start to come down. Inhale up, and then those hands beneath the knees a little bit deeper. And then one more time, all the way up. And as we come down, straight legs, flat back, chin up. Let's come down nice and slow into the swan dive. Just don't bunk your head onto that chair. And then just let those hands come down, interlock those arms, and rock side to side. Now, if it's more comfortable to have your hand on the chair, go ahead and do so right there. You got that chair right there in front of us. Good. So I'm gonna move that chair just to the side and turn to the side so you can see where I'm at in relation to the chair. Now, if I get up, I need that chair. It's right there in front of me, okay? All right. Just a little rock side to side. Let those arms hang, let the crown of our head fall. A little space between our teeth and relax through our shoulders. And as we rock side to side, a little stretch through those hamstrings, into our glutes, and into our lower back. So allow ourselves to find a little bit of peace in this moment. Good. And now we're going to move on to just a little bit of stillness. We're going to find that stillness and then a twist. And that twist is either going to occur from the ground with our hand on the block, or our hand on the chair. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate with my hand on the chair and then show with the block. So my right hand's gonna come straight below my face, left hand lifts up toward the sky. Toward the sky, just a little straddle, twist if you will, wide stance twist. And now from the block, well, I'll show that in a moment. Good. And just hold that up there and breathe. And then we're gonna switch hands so that left hand comes onto the chair or to the block and then raise that right hand up also to our hip or to the sky. And maybe peek up at that hand or down towards the ground, wherever you're finding comfortable or comfort in this position. Good. Let's exhale both hands down low, bend in those knees and sweep up nice and tall, all the way up and bring our hands together and exhale to heart center. I'm going to keep that chair right there. I'm just going to turn and face you, though. So we're going to keep those legs wide. I'm standing behind my chair, if you will. Okay. Inhale, both hands up. And then just exhale the right hand down. Set that right hand onto our right hip. And lean over with that left hand. Point those fingers towards the left side. And then just let that right hand crawl down the side of your right leg towards your right knee. Just a nice wide stance. Deep side bend here, stretching through our ribs and down to the hip. A little hold. And then just experiment with that breath, breathing in a little bit deeper, expanding those ribs, expanding those lungs, and feeling that space between your ribs expand. Good. Inhale, both hands up. And then exhale, same thing, other side, left hand onto the hip, and then crawl that hand down as we reach that right hand a little bit higher. And maybe peeking up at those right fingertips in the sky. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Good. I'm going to stretch then through the shoulder, through the ribs, and down to the hips, just leaning over. This is called swaying tree, swaying tree. Just a different way to get into a side bend. Good. We'll inhale both hands up nice and tall, and then exhale right back to heart center. Perfect. All right. So and I'm going to put that chair right here in front of me. We're going to find all fours with that chair. So I'm just going to turn it around. Okay, initially I'll be right here. So my feet are directly under my knees and my hips and my shoulders right above my hands. I'm going to start rocking in a circle. Rocking in a circle. Pick any direction on that circle. And then go ahead and switch directions on those circles. Just a little something where we're drawing our shoulders forward and our hips back, maybe beyond our heels of our feet. Maybe those shoulders coming slightly in front of those fingertips. Helps to warm up our hands, warm up our wrists. Excellent. As we come to stillness, keep those hands right on the chair. We're going to add a little twist and a thread of the needle. So right hand inhales up toward the sky. And then exhale, bring that right hand under our left armpit like we're scratching our back. Do that four more times. Inhale, and then exhale. And just feel those knees bent, okay? So as you thread, you might feel that right knee bend. As you lift, you might feel that left knee bend. Allow your, your knees to just go ahead and do that for you, okay? That will help with the twist. That will help keep you in good alignment and make things feel just a little bit better as we move through this. Good. One more time on this side, inhale up and exhale, threading that needle. And then we'll switch, right hand onto the chair, left hand up toward the sky, inhale up nice and high. And exhale, left hand under that right armpit. Good, inhale and exhale. And a nice stretch up top through our chest and shoulders, getting a little rotation on our spine, getting the blood flow going there. Inhale, reach and exhale through. Good. Two more. All right. So again, those knees bending. Just allow those knees to kind of allow you to reach, help you to lift. Excellent. All right. Very nice. I'm going to keep the chair right in front of me. We're not moving the chair at all. I'm just going to turn to the side and continue to face my chair. Okay. So we're going to go into our sun A. Stay right here where that chair is at. We didn't move at all. Okay, and we'll start right here. Hands at heart center, standing nice and tall. All right, nice big inhale. Let's shoot our hands up to the sky. And then exhale and forward fold it down. Hands either stopping at the chair or the block on the floor. Uh, and we're just gonna rest just a little bit into this forward fold position. Yeah, just like we did with that wide stance earlier, our feet are a little bit more narrow now. Good. And then on our next inhale, let's bring those hands on top of the chair and create length from the crown of our head to our tailbone. Make that line as long as you can. And then just imagine you're sitting your tailbone on the back wall. Almost a little rock back so we feel a little bit of a dynamic stretch through our hamstrings and up through our glutes. The whole foot stays on the ground, but you might feel the weight of our body shift into those heels. Just a little bit. Okay. Nice. Take a nice little bit of an uh, inhale right here, and on the exhale, let's step those feet back one at a time. Bring our ears between our arms, downward facing dog. Both feet on the ground, heels to toes as we get here. And then feel a nice stretch between our shoulders, uh, through our shoulders, and then into our ribs as we expand the sides of our body. And from here, if it's comfortable, begin alternating those heels. Lift one heel up at a time and press the other one a little bit deeper into the floor or mat beneath us. Just a little deeper stretch then into those heels, calves, and hamstrings on that grounded heel leg. Good. Come to stillness with those feet and we'll inhale as we step forward towards the chair. Exhale and bend those knees. Inhale and sweep those hands nice and tall and exhale to heart center. Let's do about six more of those. Inhale up and exhale and fold. Inhaling up to flat back, exhale, press back to downward facing dog. On the inhale, step forward and then bend those knees. Exhale and inhale, sweep up nice and tall, right back to heart center. 
Let's do that again. Inhale up and exhale on down. Inhale up, flat back and exhale, press back down. We're facing dog. Ears between those arms. Inhale as we step forward, exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, sweep up nice and tall, right back to heart center. Keep on moving as we build up heat in our body with these sun A's. Good. All right, inhale, flat back and exhale, step it back. Good, inhale, step forward, bend those knees and sweep up. Reach as high as we can with those fingertips right back to heart center. Keep on going as we reach forward and exhale, come on down. Inhale, up to flat back, and exhale, press it back, down dog. On the inhale, step forward. Exhale, bend those knees, use the power of those legs to sweep up, reversing that swan dive, right back to heart center again. Inhale, all oh, nice and tall. Exhale, as we hang down towards the floor. Inhale, up, flat back, and exhale. Bring it on back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step it forward, and exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, sweep up, nice and tall, and right back heart center. Let's do a couple more as we inhale up and exhale on and down. Inhale, create that length, crown of our head to our tail. Exhale, press it back, downward dog, ears between those arms. Inhale, step it forward. Exhale, bend those knees. Strengthen those legs, honoring the strength as we reach nice and tall, right back to heart center one more time. Inhale as we reach and exhale and fall. Inhale up to flat back and exhale. Come on back to downward facing dog. Whew. Staying right here at downward dog for just a moment. Just a moment. All right. Feel that stretch between those shoulder blades. Breathe and expand those ribs. Good. And inhale as we step forward. Exhale. Bend those knees. Inhale up nice and tall and exhale to heart center. Okay, moving on to our first standing flow. We're going to keep the chair right where it's at. But we're going to start in chair pose. Chair pose. So in chair pose, we can either find the chair with our hands or just sit down, hands at heart center. Okay, feet and knees together and just sit back. Bring our tailbone closer down to the ground. Hands can stay at heart center. We can reach those hands forward or just rest those hands on the chair just to have some stability right there, okay? All right, good stuff. Looking good, sitting into that chair, creating a little bit of some heat on those legs as we find that chair. We're gonna try a variation right here on this chair pose now. We're gonna come up onto our toes. So lift our heels up and find awkward chair. Awkward chair, again, we can use that chair that's right in front of us for stability, but we're on our heels, pressing through, strengthening our arches and heels and our calves. Good. From here, either keeping the heels up if you're able, or if not, set the heels down. We're gonna sweep up nice and tall, up toward the sky, and as we exhale to heart center, set the heels down. Perfect. The nice, long back, we're gonna find that flat back airplane pose. So keep those legs nice and long, hinge through the hips, and then bring those hands back behind those hips. Long spine, just as if we were in that half lift with our hands on the chairs. So nice long spine from the crown of our head to our tailbone. From here, let's bring our arms out to the side. So T arms. So if I was facing you, the arms are out nice and wide. Excellent. Good. From these T arms, we're just going to begin alternating, bringing one hand to the chair or block and one hand to the sky. So take a little bit of an inhale and then exhale that right hand down and left hand up toward the sky. Good. Inhale back to center. And exhale left hand down towards the chair, right hand towards the sky or hip if it bothers your shoulders. Inhale back to center. And exhale right hand down, left hand to the sky. You can see my knees bending here. Let those knees bend. Inhale to center. Exhale, left hand down, chair or block, left knee bending deeply. Good. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, reach. And then inhale, back to center, exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches. One more time each side. Inhale, back to center, right hand down, left to the sky. Excellent. And then inhale, back to center, left hand down, right 
the sky. Exhale, both hands down. Good. And keep those hands right on the chair. Right on the chair. Back to all fours position. Shoulders over those hands. Stop bending those knees. Hips above the knees over ankles. And from here, we're just going to begin just rocking side to side our hips. Okay, just wagging our tailbone, so to speak, side to side. Maybe one heel lifting up. And then as we do that, the side our hips go to, take a peek over that shoulder. So when you wag to the right, look over the right shoulder. When you wag to the left, look over the left shoulder. And you'll start to feel a little squeeze between the ribs and the hips on the side that you're looking towards. Working our core just a little bit right here. Yeah. And just allowing those knees to bend, just like we've already done before. And then we'll come to stillness right here and find cat and cow, keeping those hands right there. From cat and cow, we're going to look up and bring our tailbone up towards the sky, drop our bellies down. And then to cow, I'm sorry, for that was cow, for, for cat, we're going to look down and bring our tailbone down and tuck our bellies in as we round our spine. Good. Inhale, look up. Squeeze those shoulder blades toward each other. Drop those shoulder blades toward each other. Good. And then exhale. Look down. Separate those shoulder blades from each other. Round that spine as high as you can. Good. And flow through that now using your breath pattern to guide the way. Inhales and exhales. Thinking about those shoulders. Thinking about the relationship of those shoulders to those muscles that border our spine all the way down towards our tailbone. Good. And then even think about our tailbone, the back of our legs, and those hamstrings as we're sitting our tailbone on the back wall. Okay, so still trying to feel that in relationship to everything that we're doing. Continuing to inhale as we look up and exhale as we look down. Give me two more in either direction. Perfect. Last time, inhale and exhale. Okay, very nice. Good. All right. So now on your mats, uh, face and head on, the chair is going to come to the left side. The left side, seat back facing in, and we've got another standing sequence right here. Okay. So we're going to start with warrior one, right foot forward and left foot back. So with our right foot forward, a deep bend into our right knee, going right towards our pinky toes. Okay, just so much so we can see the big toe just a little bit. I got that chair right there beside me if we need it. And that back foot's completely on the ground, heel to toe, but angled off slightly to the left. Hips slightly coming forward, but not necessarily squaring up. Arms up and shoulders relaxed, warrior one position. Again, I can always just use that chair if I need it right there. Good. Ah, breathing into this, settling into our version of warrior one, where our bodies are designed to go today. Okay? Now, an element of non-stealing or, or astaya um, with this pose is to try, try and get into this pose in a different way than our body's design trying to force something, trying to push and go beyond, pushing our bodies to the brink, which actually takes away, detracts from, steals away from our own experience on our mats today. Good. Warrior two, we're going to keep that right foot right where it's at and that knee, and all we're doing is pointing that left foot to the left side, arms extending front and back. Warrior two, chairs right to my instep if I need it with that back hand or front hand. And I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what that looks like. Good. Right foot still forward, left foot back, pointing to my left side. Excellent. Nice long warrior two. Maybe my gaze is right over my uh, front hand. Okay, and then this nice tall posture, ears over shoulders, over hips. Which means I'm not leaning forward and I'm not leaning back. That both of my feet are carrying my body evenly, evenly. Excellent. From here, we're going to go to reverse warrior. That left hand is just going to touch onto the chair. That right hand is going to exhale and flip, and then inhale up toward the sky. Good. Once I'm comfortable with the reach right there, I can play around with that left hand, either rest on my leg or bring it behind my back on my tailbone, or just hang on to that chair right there, just so I know where it's at and I have the stability of that. Awesome. 
So we're getting, of course, a stretch on the front side of our body, through those ribs down to our hips. We're trying to feel the back side of our body too, the inside parts of that left leg. Which means we're drawing our hips forward, maybe squeezing, engaging that glute muscle on that left side, so it presses our hips forward towards the chair that's right in front of us. Good. Keeping the hand right there, we're going to lengthen that front leg. I'm going to move my chair so you can see that. So lengthen the front leg nice and long and reach just a little bit higher. And we're going to move towards a triangle pose from here. So let's bring those arms out nice and long. Take a nice big deep breath in and begin reaching forward, 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 as far as forward as you can. And when you can reach no further, then we tip over. Resting that right hand above or below our knee, back hand on the chair if we need to, or that back hand up toward the sky. We can also use that block if you have a block nearby to set that right hand on to help keep that alignment of those shoulders stacked and ribs stacked and lifting that back hip. Good. So finding a moment of some stillness right here in this pose. Trying to feel the pose as it's designed for your body today. Maybe just noticing, where do you feel? Where do you feel this? Across the top of those ribs? Do you feel it on the inside part of that right leg? Do you feel it through your hips? Good. Now we're gonna move right to right angle pose here. So just simply bending that knee a little bit deeper, bending that right knee and either block right there, backhand still to the chair if we need it, and then just sinking in a little bit deeper to this pose. We could also have our right forearm on top of our leg, avoid the knee. If you want a little extra stretch right here, extend that left hand, bring that bicep to our ear overhead. Yeah, there we go. That feels good. Yeah, there we go. All right, exhale back to warrior two, and then we're gonna switch to the other side, so just step on forward. Okay, all right. So the chair flips to the other side now. Uh, so it's on the right side, seat back facing in, which means our left foot will be forward, right foot back, warrior one pose. There we go. All right, again, deep bend in that left knee now, which helps us open up the right side and that right hip, okay? Bringing our uh, hips a little bit forward and then squaring up our shoulders to the front, arms up and shoulders rolled down. We have that chair right beside us if we need it. Good. Just breathe through this. Find the depth on that front knee that works for you. Find the depth on that back ankle that works for you in terms of angling forward. And trying to just feel that whole foot locking into the ground on that, I'm sorry, the right foot, the back foot. Good. All right. It's time to find warrior two. So that front foot stays right where it's at. Knee doesn't move at all. Right foot points to the right side. Extend those arms front and back. Excellent. I'm going to turn to the side now and move my chair, but you stay right there. You stay right there. You don't move. You stay right there. You'll see that knee hovering right above the ankle. Maybe you're feeling that as well. Good. Warrior two. So my right foot's pointing straight to the right side, perpendicular to that front foot. And again, a good, nice, tall posture, ears over shoulders, over hips. All right, let's find that reverse warrior. So we're gonna exhale, flip that front hand and inhale and lift that left hand up toward the sky. My back hand just resting on the chair just so I have some stability as I look away and look up. And if I wanna experiment, I release that right hand either resting on my leg or behind my back. Good, feeling that stretch on the front side, feeling that space that we're creating with our body as we reach as high as we can through the shoulder to those ribs and down to the hips. So if you could just reach as high as you can, lengthen that left arm. And then maybe with that right glute, squeezing that glute so your hips press forward towards the chair, giving you a little bit deeper stretch on the inside of that right leg. Okay. All right, keep that left hand right there, lengthen that left leg, soft bend still in that knee. We get to reach a little bit higher right here, a little bit higher. And let's find warrior two arms with it. Let's go on the triangle pose. Breathe in as much as we can, then exhale. Reach as far forward as we can. When our body says stop, that's when we stop and we tip over. Good, triangle pose. Excellent job right there. Hand above or below the knee on the leg or use that block. 
Okay, and set our hand on that block. We can set knuckles on that block. That's a way to get it done. Okay, so if the palm, sometimes the palm is too deep, we just put some knuckles right there. Okay, make a fist and punch that block. All right. Good triangle pose here, something where less is more. Less is more in triangle pose. Less is more. We try to go too deep with it, we start to steal away from what we should be feeling in triangle pose. Now let's go ahead and just bend that left knee a little bit deeper and find right angle pose. Again, knees hovering right above the ankle. Okay, and that's all just based on your mobility and your comfort level. We can also have that left arm on top of the leg and that back hand up and overhead. You can also have that back hand on the chair just for a little bit more stability. So we got all sorts of options, right? And all we're trying to do is just find the practice and design the practice that we need today, each and every one of us. All right. Good, exhale back to warrior two. And then lengthen that front leg, perfect. Okay, all right, let's bring that chair. We're gonna bring it right in front of us, right in front of us, but I'm gonna to move to the side just so you can see it from the side. So chair's right in front of us, seat back facing us, just like we had it previously. And we're gonna find spinal balance and a sunbird. So find that all fours position yet again, shoulders over hands, hips over knees and feet. We'll begin that with that right hand forward, left heel back. Thumb up toward the sky on that right hand and just lengthen our body from our fingertips to our heels or toes as, as long as we can make our body go. Keeping our shoulders and hips as square to the chair and the ground beneath us. Let's exhale that right hand down, left foot, and then inhale that right heel and uh, left hand. Thumb up toward the sky. Good. And find spinal balance on that side. And then we're going to connect with our breath here as we flow through this. Exhale as we come down. Inhale, right hand, left heel. Good. Exhale, come down. Inhale, left hand, right heel. And just continue to flow through this using your breath and the pace, uh, the depth of your breath for the pace in which you move. And then focus on the length. Reach. Reach like you're trying to touch the opposite sides of the room that you're in right now. Watch anything behind you, okay? Don't knock that TV over that's behind you. Don't knock that vase over with those nice flowers. Don't do it. Good. We'll go one more time each side. And then the next time we find the right hand, we're gonna find stillness right there, right hand and left heel. So right hand's reaching, left heel back, and hold. And then we're gonna tap left, uh, right hand to left knee in the center. So we'll exhale, meet at midline, and inhale and extend and reach back out. Exhale and inhale, good. Engaging our core right here, exhale and inhale. Give me two more using your breath to guide the way. Awesome. Perfect, let's set that right hand down, left foot down, same thing. Other side, left hand, right heel back, and hold for just a moment right there. Get squared up, get our bearing strength, and exhale, connect left hand, right knee, and inhale and extend your body. Good, total of five right here. All right. Exhale, and inhale. Good. And when you're done with a total of five. Awesome. Good. Let's bring both feet down, those hands down. All right. Okay, a little bit more of some balance uh, combined with some strength here. Okay, so we're gonna find a crescent pose. So right foot's gonna stay forward and left foot's gonna step back and that back heel is gonna be up off the ground. Deep bend in that front knee so it's pointing right towards the chair. Okay, so typically with crescent pose, we, we don't have anything beside us and it's a little bit wobbly. So if we want, we can lean forward and just tap our fingertips on to that chair. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, anyway, so from crescent pose, we're going to square up right towards the chair with our shoulders and hips. Then we're going to lean forward in what I call flight position. Arms back, just like we did in that airplane pose. Okay, let's flow through that a little bit of an inhale, thumbs up, 
pointing to the back of the room. Exhale, hinge forward. And then inhale, lift up and exhale and hinge. Now if that's not comfortable to lift up, just stay right here, one hand on the chair, inhale and exhale, okay? Two more times, inhale, lift, and exhale, hinge. Yeah, and then inhale one more time, exhale, hinge, spine the chair with our left hand, and our right hand's gonna twist and reach up toward the sky. Good. So sorry for facing away from you right here, it's just the way it's working right now. So left hand's on the chair, right hand reaching up, nice and high. Good. As we exhale and bring that right hand down, we're gonna lengthen our right leg and bring our left heel up. We're gonna find warrior three from here, warrior three. Okay, so either uh, both hands stay on the chair, three point balance, or we lift that right hand up, spinal balance, or we lift both hands up, warrior three balance, all sorts of balances, okay? All right, good. So we're a little balanced, and we can also just use that chair and experiment with our balance as well. Bringing our fingertips to it and releasing when it's comfortable. Good? All right. As we slowly come down, bring that left foot back about a half step. About a half step. As we stand tall, we're going to find pyramid pose. Breathe in nice and tall and begin hinging through our hips, soft bend in that right knee as we keep our hips and shoulders square towards the chair that's right in front of us. And either dropping down to our elbows or shifting that chair out of the way and bringing our hands down towards the ground or using the block on the ground to lift that uh, ground up just a little bit higher to our hands. I like my elbows, so I'm going to stay with my elbows right here for a moment. Breathe through this, couple breaths, couple breaths. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Again, that breath helps us to stay in the moment, it helps us to feel more from the postures that we're in. Good. On our next exhale, we put a little bend in that knee and step forward. And just same thing on the other side. I'm going to stay in the same direction. Chair staying right in front of us. But I'll give you a chance to see the twist from the other angle. All right. So left leg is forward. Deep bend in that knee. That knee is right in front of the chair. Back heel up off the ground. That creates a little wobbliness. Okay. If it's more comfortable to have the heel down, by all means, set it down. Okay. We can just lean forward and touch that chair. Okay. And we're going to flow through crescent and flights. So thumbs up. Reach up, shoulders roll down away from our ears. Exhale, hinge forward. You can either touch that chair or bring those hands back by our hips. A couple more, just like that. Inhale and lift and exhale and lean in. Keep digging, keep digging. Inhale and exhale. Give me two more right here. Inhale, lift and exhale, lean. And last time, inhale. And exhale forward, right hand finds the chair now. Inhale that left hand up toward the sky. Can also be right at our hip or behind our hip. And one thing I did, I didn't realize I did, is I lengthened my left leg. So still keep a deep bend in that knee as we rotate. Okay, all right. Exhale that left hand down. We're gonna find three point balance now. Both hands on the chair, lengthen that left leg, draw that right heel up, and then spinal balance, left hand forward, thumb up toward the sky, and then maybe warrior three balance. Just experiment with releasing that chair. Hands to heart center, hands forward, or even back by those hips. Just trying to keep those shoulders and hips square to the chair and ground beneath us. Breathing through this, finding the calm in this posture best we can. Those feet, those legs are moving, they're digging in, they're, they're grappling, they're grasping. And as we exhale, we gently set that right foot down about a half step. Square up, hips and shoulders towards that chair. Breathe in nice and tall, begin hinging forward. Keeping the squareness of those shoulders and hips as we come down. And again, elbows to the chair or beyond the chair, hands onto the block or floor. 
can also use the legs above or below our knee with those hands. And just reach into the back of that leg, heel through the glutes, even the outside of the hips a little bit, and just be aware of those hips, making sure they're staying square. Lost my block. Lost my block. Take one more deep inhale and exhale. All right, slow bend to that knee, step forward. Let's bring those chairs back to original position and take a seat. And we'll sit just a little bit forward into the chairs. Just a little bit forward into the chairs. Good. And then we're gonna find just a little bit of stretch to our hips. Pigeon pose and then tabletop pigeon. So that right leg, Toes are going to come towards the shin and that right ankle above the left knee. Now, if this is a challenge to get the leg up here, that's okay. That's okay. Just leave it right here. Cross at the ankles. Okay? All right. Let that right knee fall and then just breathe in nice and tall and lean forward into it. Lean forward into it. So that'll get a nice stretch in through our back side of our glutes. The deep muscles there in our hips, part of the outside of the leg, reaching into our lower back and the connection there. And from here, we're gonna find what's called tabletop pigeon. We're gonna keep our legs right where they're at, we're not moving them, but we're gonna sit tall and just grab onto the bottoms of our chairs, okay? Pressing our palms straight down the chair, and then begin lifting or elevating our hips off the chair. Shoulders right above those hands, drop that knee down, and get a deeper stretch down through the hips and engage into our lower back. You might even feel a little stretch on those biceps, on those arms, as we lift those hips. And then exhale and find that chair with that, with that tuchus, with our rear quarters, our hind quarters. Good. Comfortably on that chair. Same thing, other side. So left foot, toes toward the shins, ankle above that right knee or below the knee, or just find a spot that, that uh, makes the most sense for you, right? And then breathe in nice and tall, and then hinge forward. Good, breathe in through, allowing that exhale to kind of soften through some of those. Some of those muscles, some of those things that might just be hanging on still. And then we're gonna find that tabletop. So keep the legs right where they're at, hands on the chair, press straight down on the chair, lift those hips up, drop that knee down. Shoulders still above the hands, but lift our hearts a little bit more. And exhale and release on down. Okay. All right. So if you follow along in the music, the closing song is called I Am Light. I Am Light, about fifth from the bottom. And we're going to find Shavasana, which means we're going to sit just all the way back into our chairs. Allow ourselves to find the most comfortable spot on the chair. Feet flat on the floor to the best of our ability. Knees hovering above those ankles. And find a good, nice, tall posture here. Nice, tall posture. From the crown of our head, relaxing down through our shoulders, letting those shoulders draw away from our ears. And just sitting right above our hips as our back is supported by the back, seat back behind us. If it's comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes for just a moment. Close your eyes. And then allow that breath to just be a natural, everyday breath. What we're seeking is stillness of the body. Stillness of the body allows our body and mind to fully experience what our practice was like today. The benefits of what we just did for our bodies and for our minds as we end our practice in a restful state, a restful nature, allows our body and minds to calm down and experience this moments, not 
any of the chaos that surrounds us, but this moment right here and right now. Allowing ourselves to relax, allowing ourselves the grace to have that compassion for ourselves. You know, oftentimes we think of compassion in terms of other people. But right now we need to think of compassion in terms of ourselves too. Walking a mile in our own shoes and allowing ourselves to just experience what's going on for exactly what's going on. Not letting the busyness, the chaos, the news, and whatever information out there detract from our ability to still find joy, to still find happiness, to still find meaningful experiences. Can we allow ourselves to release, to let go, then we're free to enjoy the things for what they are. We're free to enjoy them in the moment in which they happen, as opposed to what we think they should be. I honor the love and light in each of you as it's also within me. Namaste. Have a great day. Thank you for coming to practice today. I miss you all. Can't wait to get back to see you all. Okay, we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Take care.